Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about operating system and we are going to discuss these three points in this video. Why to study the operating system subject? This is a common question which comes to most of the students. And what is an operating system? What I am going to study in this particular subject? Before we start the subject discussion, one should know these answers. Why to study the operating system? So that a student can take uh, interest in the subject. What is an operating system? And what I am going to study in this particular subject? Coming to the why to study this operating system subject. You take any computer, uh, any computer you find the operating system is a key part and no doubt as a student you may use a computer, you may interact with the computer, even if you are not using presently, when you join any organization, any job, you are going to use a computer. No doubt you will interact with the operating system as a user, hence you should know the operating system. And base of the internet is a server and server you will find a operating system. Whole world depends on the internet. No doubt internet means I need a servers and when I say servers, every server is having its own operating system. Hence I should study the operating system subject. Without OS, it is difficult to work on the computer. An application program, when you, whatever you are writing, all those application programs will run on the operating system. No doubt you will take a use of operating system whenever you are writing a application programs. Hence, you should know the operating system subject. A new smart devices need a new operating system. If you are really intelligent, once if you understand the OS completely, you can think of writing your own operating system for a new smart devices. I hope you convinced why to study the operating system subject. No? At least you know it is in your syllabus. And you want a degree, you should study the operating system, you should clear this subject. I am sure at least now it is clear why to study the operating system. Coming to the, what is an operating system? We can say it is the interface between the hardware and application program. I have an OS and we have application program, we have a hardware. So in between these two, the OS will come into picture. A person usually interact with the application program Application program will interact with the system software and system program or software will interact with the hardware. And the same thing is presented in many textbooks, many websites, application program. Below that we have a software, system software. Below that we have a hardware. And here also we have a users and system software, application program, OS and computer hardware. Like that, a different uh, books are representing in different way, but all gives the same meaning. I have a banking system, airline reservation, web server, all these are application programs. And compilers, editors, command interpreter, all these comes into system programs. And below that we have a operating system and below that we have a physical devices. When you take a computer system, it consists of Hardware, it consists of a system program, it consists of a application programs. And OS is a system program. What is the OS? Basically, it is a program. Maybe written using a C or C language. It is basically a one program. What it does, it loads and runs other programs. And OS should provide a Consistent way to do so many things. It is listed here. Say one application program might wish to draw something on the screen. 
OS should support that. It won't interact with the keyboard, mouse, some input output devices. It should be supported by the operating system. It uh, program want to access some file which is written in the hard disk. Maybe want to update, maybe want to read. It should be supported by the operating system. It want to communicate with the other application programs. It should be supported by the operating system. Like that throughout our subject we are going to talk the OS work functions, how it does so many things. OS is called as a manager. What is called as a manager? We know bank manager. Each and every activity in the bank is controlled by the bank manager. Like that, the operating system in a computer system, OS acts as a manager. All activities in the computers are controlled by operating system. Resource allocator. Resources is nothing but your memory, CPU, like that input devices, output devices comes into resources. Resource, all these are allocated by the operating system. Hence I can say OS is a resource allocator. And OS is a government. As we all of us know, government doesn't do anything from, for itself. Similarly, OS doesn't do anything for itself. It gives an environment to the user so that he can execute an application programs. Based on its work, uh, different names may be given to the OS. Like a, a human being is doing a work, like a conductor, we call him as a conductor, like a driver, a teacher. Based on their work, we give a name. Like that, if we start giving the name to the operating system, we have to give many, many names because it does a lot of work in the computer system. What is the goal of the operating system? Operating system goals are very only in brief you can remember it executes a user program and makes solving user problems easier and make the computer system convenient to use and this is very easy to understand if you are working on the DOS and if you are working on the Windows you will feel the difference you feel more convenient when you are using Windows when you are working on the DOS you feel less convenient so hence the one important point the OS goal is to make a computer system convenient to use. Use the computer hardware in an efficient manner. This is another goal of an operating system. What I am going to study in this subject, you will be having some expectations. Usually, there will be aim for each and every subject. To understand that, I want to take an analogy. Take a bike example because younger generation, you people like bikes. List the parts of the bike. So you can list parts of the bike. You have petrol tank, brake, you have accelerator, handle. Like that you can make a list. Function of those parts you can explain. Handle why we use, brake why we use, accelerator and clutch etc. You can explain. A study of all these does not mean that you can ride the bike. It's very important to understand. When you study a complete bike and its parts and function of all those parts, it doesn't mean you cannot ride a bike. Like that here also, the important point you have to remember is, aim of the subject will not teach you how to use the OS. Examine the way how actually OS works that we are going to do in this particular subject. And which OS are going to study, sir? This is another question. Most of the students they ask, sir, OS you told, which OS? Example, you are talking about a bike. Working of each and every parts I am talking. Which bike I am not telling? Because all bikes are having a same parts and their functions almost same. Hence, in general, I am going to talk OS, not a particular OS. What I am going to do in this subject? So many algorithms, what we are using in the operating system, so many data structures inside the OS we are going to discuss. And related to this algorithm, some problems are there and no doubt we are going to find the solution for those things. These are the references. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, please share with your friends and try to subscribe.